As part of the deformity correction module, we now look at a method for planning proximal femoral osteotomy. In the deformity module, hover over the femur and choose from the plate symbol. Adult osteotomy plate appears and open the x-ray. Scale the image. Planning stage can be ignored in this case and move straight to the reduction panel. Reduction tool is selected and this is used in order to create an appropriate plan. Cutting through the femur perpendicular to the shaft and outlining the extent of what is available on the image, we complete the box by closing or using the escape key. Then also outline the hip component, again using the reduction tool. To whatever extent is appropriate for the case. Go back to the point where there is an overlap with the original segment and use the escape key to close. If easier, change the colour option so it's easy to see the two segments. When happy with the outline, take and rotate through any point required the hip joint, moving it into position, and then adjust the femoral shaft component to an appropriate position. In order to get the angle of the wedge necessary to achieve this plan, choose the angle tool and place that over the two segments, allowing the angulation to be read. Right click if this is to be labelled this will then appear in the report when complete move to the templating stage choose from a type and blade as appropriate and move this down to sit against the bone right click on the plate to rotate or use the small handle and use the arrow keys to position. Look at different size blades as necessary and adjust the screws. Any screws that aren't required can be removed, for example if we right click, choose type, no screw. If we look at the report, we'll see that the wedge angle has been recorded plus plate size and any other information. When satisfied, save or commit this plan to the packs. This ends the tutorial on proximal femoral osteotomy.